what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use this method or at least this exercise that I saw Wendy doing with Mark the other day. I'm going to call them out and I'm going to show them, but then I'm only going to put one in your screen. There is a purple rectangle in your screen. Just visualize it as they call it. There is a red heart in your screen. Here is the yellow sun. I'm putting one in your screen. Which one is it? Heart. The same, red heart. Robert says, red heart, Claudia, lift your mask up. Yes, it is. Yes, it's the heart. Very good, you both. Our favorite, the green up arrow, a red ink blot. And the last one is the black diamond. I'm going to shuffle them up, and I'm going to pick one. There it is, of those three in your screen. If you see something, say something. The red blob. Claudia says the red blob. Rob, you can look for color or shape or both. Yes, uh, like Claudia. The red ink blot, blob, or whatever you want to call it. Very good, both you two. You got it. We have a brown moose. The next one is the golden dollar coin of Canada. The third card is a red circle. It's a solid red circle. I'm putting one of those three cards in your screen. Robert, what comes to your mind, say? The animal. Yes, it is. It's the moose. Very good. We've got the red down arrow. We have a green maple leaf and then we have a black ink spot i'm going to take one and i'm putting it in your screen of those three which one of the three is it down arrow claudia says the red down arrow i say the same robert says the red down arrow claudia lift your mask up it's the red down arrow there you go very good guys we have a green semicircle then we have the black and yellow bumblebee and then the third one is a green octagonal. So I'm going to just take one of them and I'm putting it in your screen. So don't just go by color, go by the shape. If it's one of those two, let go of control. Don't care. I really don't care. And when you take that attitude, I've seen over and over and over again, but you guys get it. That's just releasing the left brain. That's all that is. The semicircle. Okay, Robert says the green semicircle. Yeah, I see like an outline of a semi semicircle. Well, check by lifting your mask up. Hey, we did it, Robert. <laughs> Very good, you guys, because there were two green ones and yeah. you got the correct one. Excellent. <laughs> this one is a green arrow pointing to the right. This one is an orangey red Height. The third one is the crescent moon again. Okay, I'm going to take one of these and put it in your screen. Kite. It's Audience orange. says the orangey red kite. I'm sorry, I say the same. Okay, <laughs> Robert says the orangey red kite. And Claudia, lift your mask and check. Yes, Robert, again. We are good, Claudia. You're excellent. <laughs> it's the ace of spades, I'm showing it. It's the two of clubs, I'm showing it. And it's the five of clubs. Pick one. Which one is it? It's the two. Robert says the two of clubs. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Well, say it then. Two. The two of clubs, 100%. Lift your mask up. It sure is, Robert. <laughs> you Remember the seven symbols. There's the triangle, square, circle, and plus. The triangle, square, and circle can be open or closed. So there's seven cards. I'm going to reach in and grab one and put it in your screen. Which one of the seven is it? A closed triangle. Lift your mask up and tell Robert what he got. Oh, it's a triangle, Robert. <laughs> Very good. Closed. <laughs> yes, it's you got closed it. Front. Yes. Do that one more time. I'm shuffling. When we shuffle at random and grab one, it could be the same card or different. And there it is in your screen. One of the seven symbols. And remember, don't follow along too strong with my voice. It's just as sound in the distance. Try to ignore it, but loosely follow it. The idea is not to try here at all, really. It's just to accept and observe. That's all you're really doing and you're not controlling, you're moving out of your left brain and letting it go to sleep and allow yourself to connect to your right brain. When you veg out, you do that. When you fall asleep, you're doing that. When you watch a movie, quite often you're doing that. Just following along in the story. It's relaxing because you don't have to think. Which one of the seven cards did I pick randomly? Us. Well, buddy, lift your mask up and check it out. Oh, it's a plus. The plus, very good. Okay. Well done, Claudia. Thank you. Thank you. Well Just for fun, what is the color of the dice and what's the number on it? Look for dot or dots. Red. 
Claudia says red. You have dot or dots, Claudia? Four. Okay, Claudia says a red four, Rob? Green five. Now, isn't that interesting? Lift your mask up, Claudia. You got the <laughs> color. Robert got um, the number. I got the color. You got the number, Rob. Robert. Wow. <laughs> of course, that's how we like it. This one is a little harder. I have two dice in the cup. <laughs> it's hard, but the mind site would argue that it's twice as easy because it likes difficult. So I'm tapping the top dice and I'm asking you to tell me the colors of the two dice. Could be any two of the four colors. There is a green. Yes, it is. Both of you agree on that? Yes. That's correct. Yes, it is. Nice. You guys got a green one. You got that correct. Go to the blue dice on top and tell me the number that is facing up. If you stand over here and look down in the cup, you'll see the dot or dots. I say six. Okay, Claudia, lift your mask up and tell Robert what the number was on it. Oh, it's a six, Robert. <laughs> well done. Well done. And I'll lift that blue one up, and there's the, the green one underneath right there. Let's keep it going. This one is a long shot. But once again, your mind sight likes difficult. I'm taking a yellow cup. There's the yellow cup. I'm going to slip a card into it. I don't even know what the card is. I'm lifting it to your screen, and I'm showing the yellow cup. What kind of card, Rob? A playing kind of two to A sort of thing, right? So it could be any suit, any value. See inside the cup. This is a difficult, but Mindsight loves difficult. Come to my place, stand beside the table, look down into the cup. I'm touching the card, but I don't know what it is. I haven't seen it. I'm moving the cup around. I'm moving the card around. As the card hits the bottom and you hear the sound, that is a clue that your mind sight can tell what the value is on the card. Just by the way it hits, there's vibrations involved. Your mind sight can put everything together, come by remote viewing, and tell me the value. It's a diamond. Well, I'm saying diamonds as well. I'm saying nine. Who said nine of diamonds? I did. Lift your mask up. Come on! It's a I nine. Said nine of diamonds. Very good, Claudia. Very, very good, Claudia. Excellent. Wow. And I think with that, guys, our session is over. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. So we'll give Rob a partial pat on the back also. <laughs> he did get diamonds. You did get diamonds, Rob. Oh, I, yes, I, I, yes, I, yes. I think, well, that's very good. I think Robert, did, Robert you did incredible today. Oh, and you too. I hope you, you did you. well. Thank you.